Hi, welcome to Fast Easy Vegan. I'm Jocelyn Grafe, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to be doing tuna schmuna. It is such a great recipe, so simple, so delicious. And as a bonus, we're gonna be doing cashew cream as well. Now cashew cream is like a vegan staple. It's good for sauces, you can make it thicker and it's sour cream. Today we're gonna to use it like a mayo and make it really thick and delicious. Uh, so it's basically a moistener and it adds a, a little bit of delicious, subtle flavor. So let's do the cashew cream first. Here I have about a half a cup, maybe a little more of soaked cashews. Now, you'll hear in other places, oh, you know, to make smooth cashew cream, you need like a big million dollar blender. No, no you don't. I have a little Ninja blender. I got it at Target, no big deal. This is the smoothie attachment and it's amazing. And it makes really smooth, creamy, nut butters and uh, cashew cream and that sort of thing. So for our purposes today, soaked cashews, one clove of garlic, um, about a half a lemon's worth of juice, and that's it. We're gonna put the cap on and make a whole bunch of noise here while this is blending. Here we go. We need some moisture. Let me put some water in that. Be right with you. Whoops, making a mess. How unusual. Okay, that ought to do it. Uh, it's much better to add a little bit of moisture at a time rather than too much, and then you have soup. All right. Let's see what we have here. Oh yeah, see how thick that is? So I can dilute that or not as I choose. I'm just gonna leave it there as it, as it is now. So, now to our tuna shmuna. That is two cans of drained, not rinsed, chickpeas. And then what I want you to do, this is an important step. Take your potato masher and smash those little rolly beans so they don't fall out of your sandwich and roll across the floor and embarrass you. So this is not an elaborate process. We're just crushing some of them just lightly and quickly. All right, that looks pretty good. Done. Now, let's add the stuff. We've got a half of a red onion minced. We've got about three quarters of a cup of thinly sliced and then diced celery. We've got a half of a red bell pepper minced. And then See, the idea is that this is supposed to be like vegan tuna. Well, it's not tuna. It doesn't taste anything like tuna, but it's really, really good. So anyway, tuna shmuna, right? So a vote for the ocean. We've got a tablespoon of kelp here. This is optional, but I like it. It gives you that sea breeze flavor. And then we're gonna add uh, a tablespoon of brewer's yeast or nutritional yeast which is another staple of vegan cooking. And then we're gonna finally add uh, a teaspoon of vegan Worcestershire sauce with a tablespoon, a big tablespoon of uh, chopped pickle or dill relish. And that's it. And then we wanna get a spoonful of our 
fake mayo in here. Let's see. Let me use one of these spoons here. So as you can see, I made it really thick, so it's pretty much the same consistency as mayo. And by the way, I thought, you know, using nuts, oh my God, that's, this is what we're doing here at Fast Easy Vegan is low fat vegan cooking. And I'm thinking, wow, all those nuts, what kind of calories does that involve? So I looked it up. Cashews, 157 calories a cup. Walnuts, like 600 a cup. Almonds, like 400 calories a cup. So, uh, yeah, cashews are good. So see how this binds so nicely. Oh, I'm getting that nice hit of garlic and that freshness of the lemon juice. Wonderful. So that's it. There you have your tuna schmuna. Let me dish this up a little so you guys can see. This is the dish you bring to the potlucks because it's gonna disappear every single time. Make a double batch, save some for yourself because I promise you, it disappears fast. And people don't care if it's vegan or not vegan. Everybody's gonna be eating this. So you can make it in a sandwich or you can just like this, put it in a bowl, put a forkful on and stick it in your mouth. Mm. See you next time. Bon appétit.